And looking at the picture right now, there are certain things that I want to change. For example, this area. I think this highlight and this highlight together doesn't work. I think I should make this darker. So I'm going to do that. And then the other thing is this leaf. The color of this leaf is a little bit off. So I'm going to change uh, that too. But let's start here. And this is my pencil, forest green. And right now it is uh, a day later. Today is uh, Tuesday. And again, we are having hopeful news here in the Netherlands about uh, the epidemic, pandemic. I really hope that in your country uh, there is uh, hopeful news as well. Here I have mulberry, a dark blue. The number of people in the hospital are going down, the numbers are going down, so that is very, very good news. And I have the idea, I look, I watch a lot of TV programs about, uh, you know, um, the news and uh, programs that interview uh, scientists, doctors, star people like that. I have a feeling they are now preparing us for what is to come because when we have this virus under control um, that doesn't mean that we can go back to our normal lives so they are slowly preparing us now for being being away from each other for a long time and uh, they are now thinking about how to uh, how to get the economy going again so people can go back to work look this looks so much better yeah so how people can go back to work but being be uh, be safe in their their working environment people are starting to think about that making plans for that but i heard also hear that uh, scientists say that it can take up to a year or more before we are out of the woods and i truly believe them so that means a lot of coloring, staying at home, staying away from people. Being creative about it. I'm not going to stay away from uh, people for uh, a year. I don't think that is possible for anyone. So I think we will find creative ways. Maybe the face masks. That will help. I'm sure they will come in the Netherlands. I'm sure of that. I don't mind wearing them. If it helps, I'm going to wear a mask. No problem. And in the meantime, we do a lot, a lot of coloring. 
Yeah. Let's pick this one. Parrot green. This drawing looks a little bit sketchy, but uh, actually I like it. I like it a lot. Let's pick this color, olive yellow, one of my favorite colors in this Erogeton um, pencil set. I have a set of 90, 90 er Erogeton pencils. They are the hardest pencil that I have with the hardest pencil lead. I'm sure there are more pencils with a hard lead, but I prefer the softer ones, so I only have this one that is a little more more hard. Yeah, let's go back to the forest green. Here in the Netherlands, many people are starting to uh, do a lot of organizing in their homes because they can't go anywhere. They start to work on their homes and, um, and, and gardens too. This is the mulberry again. And that has resulted in uh, traffic jams. Uh, in the areas where you can uh, get rid of your your old stuff, we call it um, gemeentewerf. Where I live, we we call it gemeentewerf. <coughs> Sorry, it's uh, it's a recycle station where you can uh, bring your old furniture, your clothes, your the stuff that comes out of your garden, anything, chemical waste like paints and other chemicals. And there's uh, there has been traffic jams lately because everybody is starting to clean out their homes. Maybe this is happening in your uh, country as well. I'd like to hear from you what you are doing these days. What your country is doing these days. This is Cactus Green. Olive yellow again. And forest green. I want to make this vein here a little bit less prominent. Mulberry Ok, 
cactus green. People are getting quite creative here in the Netherlands about uh, the rules now. Many nursing homes, no, all nursing homes, are being are closed for uh, for public, so you cannot visit people who are in nursing homes right now. But people are getting very creative, and in uh, several nursing homes. Uh, people who wanted to visit their parents, for example, they hired a some sort of... Uh, it's a device used by window cleaners, so they get in and then they can raise the, race, the device to uh, several stories high. So people hired that thing. We call it a hoogwerker, a high worker, but I don't know the English word. Anyway, people are uh, using that device to, uh, to visit their loved ones. And that's really very nice. All of yellow again. If you use, if you add a lighter color on top of a darker one, it looks like it's it's starting to glow. I really love this. Well, this looks good. I think I need to do a little bit more work over here because over here there is the saturation is not uh, what it what I want it to be. There is a lot of white paper still visible. Today we have a cloudy day here in the Netherlands and the wind comes from the north and it's pretty cold. We've had beautiful days before. <coughs> the last week was, uh, or last two weeks actually, was uh, absolutely beautiful and tomorrow the good, the good weather is coming back. Cactus green. The weather forecast uh, says that we will have 19 degrees Celsius tomorrow. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Then I will continue to work on my pond, our pond, which I am working on. It needs to be cleaned. Then I was uh, looking out out of the window to this morning to, into our front garden and I saw that uh, I realized that there is a big uh, task ahead because I need to do some uh, some s serious trimming mm, let's see here we have the mulberry that beautiful dark blue tone. We have these boxwood hedges in the garden and one of them is so big and messy actually that I think that I, sh I need to either take it out or trim it down extensively 
trim it down to the max and then I won't have a beautiful bush hedge this year but next year things will improve I did it last year with another hedge and it worked out so I think I should do that again with, with this one cactus green Well, the question is, are we finished yet? Not completely. Back to forest green. I'm looking at uh, the screen on my phone right now. To... Uh, that helps me to take a step back and see how the drawing is progressing. Yeah, that's better, I think. And a touch of mulberry. Just a touch. And some more forest green. And a little bit of this beautiful olive yellow. Now looking at this leaf, I think I need to work on this one too, cactus green. drop my pencil. I'm sorry. And here we have that beautiful mulberry again. very cautious with this mulberry because it's very dark so I'm only going to add a light layer and I decided to get rid of this highlight here I think this looks better green so as you can see the subject of this drawing is 
this uh, ladybird but the leaves take much more time that's fine with me but uh, if you don't want to do that if you want to uh, you can you can leave it more sketchy that's okay and here i have a parrot green Cactus green again. And the olive yellow again. Well, let's take a look. Let's pick up the camera. I actually think this looks good. So I think, uh, I think we are almost finished. There is one thing though. And that is this area over here, those fresh light green leaves. I think I should add a little more contrast here. So let's see if I can do that. This is the cactus green. Just a touch. And the same goes here. This is different from what you see on the picture, but if I would draw exactly what is in the picture, I don't think the picture would work very well. So I just don't think that would work. This is forest green. I'm going to add a touch of green here in the shaded area. looks better and that is the fun of drawing and painting you can improve a picture that is so much fun I have thousands of pictures taken while being on vacation or anywhere in my own garden also and they are not the perfect picture this picture is not perfect, but you can use it as a basis for your drawings and leave out what you don't like about that picture. 
that's so nice. This is oil yellow. And I think I need another tone. This is sallow. Now I'm going to make a couple of highlights here. And for that I need my electrical eraser. Here it is, my Derwent electrical eraser. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Can you see that? Let's see. I'll need to fix it. A piece of the eraser came off. So I will put it the other way around. That looks better. Look at that. Okay. The last part of this video is a voice over and uh, well, I think we are done. And I'm happy with it and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, well um, I will think about what to do in the next episode if you have any suggestions please let me know see you in the next episode bye bye